Hello again, everybody. This is Shirley from Family Savings Fun, and today I want to talk to you about how I store my crafts, or rather my craft supplies. Um, if you've watched my videos, you know that I talk about this great big huge house that I have. However, I don't have a room that I can dedicate solely and to as crafts. such, I keep all of my crafts in this container right here. This is just a Stanley Fat Max, if you've never seen one. It is about three feet tall or so, and you can see it has some wheels on the back, and it's just like one of your rolling luggage carts. You pull these, push these little things up, pull the handle up, and then you can just roll it wherever you need to. So I love that feature because I can use it wherever I need to in my house. And, um, and it's really sturdy. This is heavy duty plastic. It's made for tools, <clears throat> but it is super handy for this. Now it does have a locking feature right there. You can lock it up. Um, but since this is just for my crafting supplies, if someone's that desperate for some crafts, then whatever, they can have them. So there's actually three separate compartments here, and we're going to start with the top. This top just locks, unlocks like this, and the lid lifts open, and there's this neat little tray. I keep all of my washi tape in here. This is the washi tape that has been used or is being used for whatever project I'm working on. Um, right here I have specialty washi tape. This one is for packages and mail. Christmas, Easter, again packages and mail. And I haven't opened this one yet. This is just some little jeweled washi tape. You can see that's like the design or whatever and it's just clear. So it's in there and then these are all of my unopened washi tapes. Um, I just purchased these yesterday for Halloween and some extra of these. Um, if you watch my diabetic uh, glucose chart video, then you'll recognize that tape there. And then over here I just keep some specialty tape. This is like lace and glittery uh, type of tape for decorating. And then our payday stickers as well as some little mail envelopes that I like to glue into my planner and write who I need to mail a card to or a letter or whatever so that's really great now this tray just lifts out and down here you can see I have um, a package with my pens and sharpies and things like that that I like to use when I'm planning all of my scissors all of my stamping supplies as well as my deco runners here's some cards that I use to mail out different things a stapler this is Scotch Expressions masking tape, and I like to use that. And then over here, I've got some envelopes with my Project Life cards, and this big thing of grid Project Life cards here and here. And then underneath, like I said, I just keep my stamps and my stamp pads and some little cutout things there. So all of that fits in really well, and I just, I absolutely love having that option for storage there okay so to get into this big part of this um, you have to hold this little handle right here lift it up and then push it out and the whole thing opens up so let me see if I can do that without screwing up too badly so we're gonna just lift up on this and maybe let me pull this out. I think it was getting caught on the carpet. All right, there we go. All right, so there you go. <clears throat> so in this top, this second portion here, I keep my little cutout pieces, all of my glues, and, and um, there's a thing of tape in here, regular clear tape, are in that compartment. I keep some sticky notes here. These are just loose Project Life cards here and some paper clips that I bought on clearance and just some little decoration things. These are all sticky notes and paper clips. 
here as well as down here on the inside, which I don't know if you can see that. Down here are just some flags. This one has just some little mini cards that I like to journal with, some stickers, and some trading cards that I use for one of the groups that I belong to on Facebook. These are notepads that are actually sticky pads as well. Um, and then a bunch of little flag things there that I got on clearance. And then down at the bottom, here I keep some clear acrylic containers with all of my stickers. These are just, I call them matte stickers because they're just regular stickers, owls, different little designs. Love those. Then my shiny stickers, and I still have room to grow. These are kind of sparkly or whatever. And then these are my planner stickers, and these are the ones that I use in my planner on a daily basis, pretty much. Like I said, envelopes for mailing out cards and stuff, my medication. Um, there's two different kinds of hydrates. I'm not sure which one I'm going to keep going with. And then I've got some weather stickers. And these are not stickers, they're just cutouts, and I've been using them, but I'm not sure if I like how that's going. And then here is for my meal plan, and little crosses for church, little paws, and labels, paws for the dogs, and labels for various things that I need to label. So that is the stuff that I keep in my planner. And then down here I just have my scrapbook paper, my extra project life cards, and any stickers that I haven't pulled out of their packages for one reason or another, or deco runners or anything like that. I keep just in a sleeve right in there on the side and it works out really well. So that is how I keep all of my storage, all of my craft stuff stored really well. So if you don't have a room to dedicate to your craft storage and you have, you know, just a little bit like I do that you use on a daily basis, then I think this is a really great idea. These were $49 at Home Depot or $69 at Lowe's, I believe. So I got mine at Home Depot, but it's called a Stanley Fat Max and it's super great for storing all of your stuff and there's lots of different ways that you can use this so I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this and let me know if you can think of anything else I can add to it I'm thinking about adding um, a little collapsible trash can to put on the side because like I said I don't have a dedicated craft room so often I'm right here in my living room there's my dog it's Frank that is Frank and beans uh... And he is hey, tired. Have a great puppy. day, and I will see you guys later. Bye now.